Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest this evening is a two-time Academy Award nominee you know from The Impossible, Birdman, and King Kong. She now stars as Gretchen Carlson in The Loudest Voice. Please welcome Naomi Watts. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me back. Now, uh, you uh, look very glamorous this evening. Thank you. And, and you, you, you. we know you as Australian. Correct. But I understand that you actually grew up in Wales, on a, in, a, in a, a, like a country girl in Wales. Yes, on a farm. How actually. country are we talking? What kind, of, what kind of farm? Sheep? Goats, actually. Goats? Yeah. Yes. My grandmother bred goats. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And we would milk them and be um, relegated to chores, like mucking out the pens. Sure. What kind of goats are we talking here? Do you remember the breed? No. Just... <laughs> I sound like a liar now. No, no, no. I was a no. kid. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. Mm -hmm. they, were, they, they were... were Newcastle Selkies. Uh, well done. Thank you. <laughs> that sounds convincing. <laughs> How was, were you in a town or you were out in the countryside? We were out in the countryside. What yeah. was the nearest town? And was the name of that town just like a bucket of consonants? Because yes, basically. And Welsh okay. is a very difficult to pronounce. Yeah, was the nearest train station. Wow. Can you say it? I did not know you spoke Klingon. <laughs> Well, you got your big break in the in in the thirties, I understand. So you paid your dues. In my thirties. In your no, 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 no. <laughs> King Kong. Wasn't King Kong in the thirties? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But in your thirties you got a big break. So that means a lot of auditioning before you got there. That's right. Can you I had some terrible auditions. Can you, you what oh, awful. But yeah, uh, so humiliating. no one would employ me till my forties. But um <laughs> What, what was the worst? Can you remember a worse audition you had? Well, someone fell asleep in an audition. That was, was this... pretty much a, a bad one at all Do you remember who, what this was for? I do. It's a film that you would all recognize, but I'm not going to do that. Did you get the part? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's how possible. when you look across the room and yeah. see the director nodding off, you basically are just thinking, I've got to get out of here. He hates me. I'm so boring. This is so dull. Mm -hmm. um, let Maybe me he finds you very of... soothing. Well... <laughs> Be positive about this. Yeah, right. Well, it didn't go well. Um, uh, one, one exciting thing I, I just learned about you is that you're, you're going to be in the prequel to Game of Thrones, which takes place, I understand, thousands of years b before the present series just ended. Is that true? Do you know? <laughs> How about this? You can't answer, right? That's right, yeah. Do you I'm, know... And this is my poker face. Do you know whether what I said is true? I'm not asking you to say if it's true I or do not. I know. You do know. I know, I you do. Know. But you know I will whether not. that's true. I won't let on. It takes place in Valeria, right? It takes place <laughs> in Valeria. <laughs> right? Exactly. That's what it is. I can tell. You could say anything. You can try. Mm -hmm. You can try. Really? You I can say anything? Yeah, we could keep they going They find here. out that over on... Uh, the very, 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 very uh, Southros, whatever that continent is down there. Hey, do you know anything about Game of Thrones? Do you know I do. I watched do the whole the thing. Series? Uh, yes. Have I... you seen the end? Yes, I watched. Yeah. Did you enjoy the end? Did you yes. enjoy the end? Yes. Yeah. I'm not one of those people who are saying do it again. No. Neither I, am I. I. I felt. I'm saying show me a sequel, or show me a prequel. Exactly. With no, Naomi with new Watts. Characters. Thousands of years before. On Thank you. In Valeria, which you've just confirmed is what's going to happen. Thank you very much. I did not. You are. Yes, you did. You just confirmed. <laughs> We're going to edit out all of your denials. <laughs> um, do you, do you, you are known as a, as, as, as a scream queen. Maybe that, the scream queen, because you've done enough horror films where you have yes, to scream I've done in lots. them. Yes. Have you ever, and you're very good at it. I'm not going to ask you to scream right now, but you're I very, can. You can? Well, I mean. <laughs> well, a, is you, this do mine? You, do you, do you, oh, yes, it is yours. Do you um, need some prompting? Do you need well, something to Well, it depends. What, what do you want? 
what kind of scream do you want? Like, there's many different, like, if you're a scared kind of help me scream, do you want, like, a I'm going to, you know, like, go crazy? Um, okay, let's, or, let's run the gamut here, okay? Or do you want, um, this is so fun, scream. Um, <laughs> Give uh, me so fun. Give me so fun first. Oh, you want me to do more than one? I'm going to burn out. <laughs> this is... All right, I'll be one. You're, you're brushing your teeth in the bathroom mirror. Yeah. Okay. okay, you look down to spit out the toothpaste. You look up. And there is a uh, just a screaming skull over your there. There's just there's just a cackling skull over your shoulder in the mirror. <laughs> you know what? I, I hope I, I didn't really, blow the mic there, guys. I really want that to be my ringtone now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I've actually started watching this. Is a, this is an incredible series on, on Showtime, The Loudest Voice. Yes. It's about uh, Roger Ailes and sort of the birth and growth of, of, of Fox News and what happened to his career. And you play Gretchen Carlson, the woman who took him down. Correct. What did you, what, what did you find out? Did you talk with Gretchen? Have you talked to Gretchen at all? Um, we had to rely on Gabe Sherman for our research. Okay, who his book. Interviewed, yeah, yeah, yeah. 600 people, mm -hmm. and th that's what we based our. What did you find most compelling about her story about how she took him down? Well, I mean, she was operating in a place that where women were not only not moving ahead, they were undervalued, they were bullied, they were sexually harassed and um, she got to a point where she said no this is not okay and um, she pushed back she wanted promotions she was she's very good at her job she was at the peak of her career and and high ratings and she kept getting pushed down and she said no that's not gonna happen we have a I have a, a clip here of you talking <laughs> uh, your character talking with Ailes played by Russell Crowe yes and uh, anything we need to know about setting this up? You're, you're, I think you're asking for an This is the moment, yes, she wants to, she's putting herself out there because she's feeling the vibe that she's not being pushed forward, the men are, and she's saying, she's taking care of herself. She's saying, I want what they're getting, so give it to me. Jim? <laughs> so, McCain's coming on Fox and Friends next week. Deucey's had the last three interviews. I want this one. Gretchen, I'm quite sure you should be speaking to your EP. I don't do the bookings. I have. And you thought it was okay to just go over her head and talk to me directly? Well, I think we should give you a shot. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. You won't regret it. Wow, that kind of makes your skin crawl just to watch. Yeah, exactly. There's many skin crawling moments. Now, Russell Crowe, also Australian. I assume you guys knew each other because there are only a couple of people in Australia, right? Yeah. <laughs> did you guys know each other as We as did. Actors? We did, actually. We, this is not the first time we've worked together. Um, we did a, a show, another mini series called Brides of Christ. Mm -hmm. And um, I noticed from then, and he, he was at the beginning, very beginning, as was I, but. Um, he was just incredible, and we've become friends, and we've kind of grown up together. He stayed with me actually when he first came to LA when he was auditioning, and he um, crashed on your he couch. Crashed. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He owes me money actually. <laughs> I mean, well, I, I should have on, been paid for week? that. He's on. The, he's on tomorrow. Can you tell him? Yeah, yeah, I will tell him. How much is it? How much cash? Well, we talking I feel here? like you know, just put some money in the pot. You know, like. $25 or something sure. <laughs> for some I'll grocery. I'll get it from him. <laughs> now, you, 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 last time you were here, you were filming uh, a, a movie that's, that's out now. It's called Ophelia. Correct. And it's in pra it was set, it's set in Prague, which yeah. is an amazing city. Yes. Did you get, how much time did you get to spend there? Like six weeks, eight weeks maybe. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. Now, I'm interested in this movie because it's, it's, it's Hamlet told from Ophelia's point of view. Yes, yes, exactly. So even sadder. <laughs> no, quite different, actually. Really? She, it's turn, we turn it on its head. It's female-driven, and she's in charge of her life and making 
her own decisions for herself. And you're and Gertrude, Hamlet's mom. Uh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Are you a heavy in this one too? Because you don't come out well. Gertrude does not come out well in the original. Um, no, she's a, a confusing character um, and still a little bit questionable. Mm -hmm. um, but she's much better, and there's you can see she's definitely more three dimensional. I would mm -hmm. say. Do, do, do you murder your husband in this one too? That's yes. <laughs> we we, that would be the we don't. I don't. Part. I don't know. That's the highly questionable I, part. It happens. The murder takes place, but you, the, the questions are not completely answered. Does but. it happen thousands of years before in Valeria? <laughs> Well done, well done, well done. You've got your armor up nicely. Well, The Loudest Voice starts June 30th on Showtime, and Ophelia is in theaters June 28th. Naomi Watts, everybody. We'll be right back.